const and static. So in Rust, uh, you know that variables are uh, immutable by default. So when we have uh, let my number equals eight, you cannot go, you know, my number plus equals eight. Uh, but if you want uh, even more, even more certainty, uh, you will use uh, const and static. Uh, const is, uh, they're basically, they're not quite the same thing, but uh, Usually you'll use a uh, const. Uh, static is like a const. Uh, it does not change and it has a uh, fixed memory location. So it'll always uh, stay in the same part of the computer. Um, if that's important to you, then uh, you, know, you can use static, but usually you'll see const. And um, they want to be really, really precise. So um, there's, no, um, there's no type inference. You have to declare the type. There's no let. What you do is you write uh, const and then <clears throat> my number. And you need to uh, specify the type. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work. So let's try it uh, without the type. And you can see you can see that uh, you know it needs a type. It needs to be very, very precise. And uh, <clears throat> same thing if you um, this won't uh, create an error, but uh, let's see. Let's give it a type again. So this won't be an error, but uh, it'll say this should have an uppercase name. So that's kind of the uh, the established practice. So <clears throat> const my number i8 equals eight, and you can see. There's no shadowing allowed. So if you go into main and you say, uh, let my number equals nine, and you try to uh, to block it, you try to shadow it, then uh, it's going to get mad. It's going to say, you defined a constant here. Um, you know, I thought this was a constant. Uh, what are you doing? You should just uh, make a variable instead. So you can see constant uh, const gives you these uh, these guarantees that people can't go in and uh, you know fiddle around uh, change your change your value or uh, or block it in any way. And this uh, I like this example too because we can look at uh, arrays for the first time. So uh, you know you usually see these four um, really important things that never change like this seasons. There's only four seasons. Maybe you're making a game and you need to, uh, you know, access this data sometimes. So you have um, these four, these four strings or string slices, and the type. You can see this is an array. So you put these uh, these square brackets here, and you separate it with uh, with commas, and they have to be all the same type. And the interesting thing about arrays, if you take out this uh, this type it'll suggest it to us and it'll say provide a type for the item and it says uh, ampersand string and uh, ampersand stir and then semicolon and then four <clears throat> and four is the number of items so if uh, that's what this type is but if you change it to three then it won't work so every every array has a, uh, a different type if it's uh, if it's a different size, so an array with three items is a different array, is a different type from an array with four items. Uh, so you can't uh, you have to be really really careful with arrays there. And later on, we're going to see something else, a type called a vec, which is uh, which is much more uh, flexible than a, an array. But uh, arrays are really really fast, and uh, if you can uh, if you can use them, then uh, and you don't need the extra functionality, then uh, an array is uh, can be a really good idea. Vectors are fast too, but array arrays are even faster.